How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Android N or Android Nougat and we're going to be talking about how to root your device that's on Android N. Um, basically we're going to be talking specifically about Nexus devices because currently that's all that's on Android N. Um, but so I've got right here my Nexus 6. This gets, this gets kind of confusing to root because you got to make sure you got the right Torp recovery image, you got the right you know, super SU file that'll work on Android N. Do you have to like patch the boot image with DM verify and force encryption turned off? It just gets really, really complicated. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way that I found to root any device on Android Nougat. So let's go check this out, or at least any Nexus device. So here you go guys, this is my Nexus 6. Now this obviously is gonna work on Nexus 6P, 5X, Nexus 9, anything on Android Nougat. So basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come in here to settings. Let me just scroll down here and show you what I've got here. So we're gonna go to Android N, it's your build right there. And you can see just, I'm on the latest build number. And you're gonna just tap on your build number until you become a developer. Um, now. Using CF Auto Root, it will unlock your bootloader for you. Um, warning about that. If you haven't unlocked your bootloader before, it will wipe your device completely. All your apps, data, well, everything will be gone um, using CF Auto Root, which is what we're going to use. Um, but if you've already unlocked your bootloader, then it won't do all that stuff and it'll just be simple. So, uh, But anyway, get in here like you've got right there. Turn on developer options, which we have. You should have OEM unlock checked or grayed out like mine is. Uh, make sure that is on for this to function and you're just going to come down here to USB debugging mode and turn that on as well okay so should have all those things on and then just go ahead and plug in your device to your computer right here plug in my cable and we should be pretty good Let's see now if you get this pop-up or you should say always allow from this computer hit OK this is for the USB debugging to function correctly and it's really important that you've got that turned on. I'm gonna put this up here for my phone doesn't spin. So from here, we're all set. You should be able to swipe down and you should see you know, Android debugging, bridge, and all that stuff set up right there. Now we can go ahead and run some commands on the computer and download the files we need to get root access on this device. All right guys, so here we are on the computer. Um, first we gotta download CF Auto Root. This is the CF Auto Root repository. Uh, Chainfire does all this, so it's awesome. So we're just gonna click on the fast boot flashable devices. That's gonna bring us down the page and bring us over here where we can go ahead and pick our firmware or our device. So I have the Nexus 6, the Shamu, and you can see it's on Android N. So there's Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P, Nexus 9, basically any of these Android N, Android Nougat firmwares, you should be able to use CF Auto Root on. Um, this is an older firmware build number currently, but it does work on any of the previews. I've already tested that, so not an issue there. Just click on the one you wanna download. So I'm gonna download this one. Come over here and go ahead and download the file. Now, if you like this guy's work, go ahead and donate. I'd recommend that to keep supporting root access on our devices. Go ahead and download it to Chainfire. He's an awesome developer. All right, that being said, we're just going to come over here and we're going to go to, let's see if I can find it. Right here, I went ahead and ex right here is the firmware. I went ahead and extracted it. Um, and basically, you just open it up and hit extract. Now I've extracted mine to this folder right here currently. So we're gonna go in here and then we're gonna run um, the root windows.bat file. Now obviously you can do this on Mac or Linux. So we're gonna go ahead and run this file. And basically it talks about turning on developer options, yada, yada, yada. And then before you continue, boot into bootloader mode or down, uh, bootloader mode or fast boot mode. So to do that, we're going to turn off our device and do that. So we're going to unplug it. We're going to power down. And then the way to get into bootloader or fast boot mode is to hold volume down from the powered off state, volume down, and then power. And you just keep holding it until you see that screen. And then you plug your cable back in, like so. And it should be connecting on your device, which is awesome. All right, so from here, we should be able to just push continue on our window and see if this will run. Now, it does give you a warning that it's going ahead and going to try to like unlock the bootloader, but currently we're not 
going to do that. So you can see it just skipped it because we already have an unlocked bootloader. So not an issue. And then we're just going to go ahead and push continue again. Now, if, it, if you didn't have an unlocked bootloader right here, it'd be telling you stuff on the screen to do to unlock your bootloader, be resetting your device and so on. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and hit continue to finish the process. So it's downloading the boot image to the device currently. Um, and it actually says it's failed. Okay. So if you have this issue where you're basically it's not working right right here, you can see it failed. And then if you hit continue again, it's just going to just going to be done. Okay. So that's kind of a bummer, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do it manually since the batch file failed. So to do that, we're going to go into tools. We're going to open a command window here. And the way you do that is you hold shift on your keyboard, right click, open a command window here. And now you have this window and we can put in some commands. So let's type in fast boot devices. And you can see it came back and says fast boot. Now, currently we actually should be using fast boot windows because that's the file that's here. So I'm going to do it this way. We're going to pull in that exe and then type in devices. All right, that worked better. All right, so now just hit up arrow and remove the devices. That means your device is connected and communicating correctly. And we're going to go back to images. And right here is the CF auto root image. And to do it manually, you've already got the fastboot windows.exe. Then you're going to type in boot and then space. And then you're going to drag in this file. And then you're going to hit enter. All right, so this time it functioned. I'm not sure why it's failing um, on the computer. It should work, but if it fails, you can see how to do it manually, and you can see what it's doing over here on the device. So technically, we're done on the computer at this point. So we're just going to watch the device go, and it's going ahead and it's doing everything. It's going to install a Super SU application. It's going to patch your boot image, um, do your DM verify, all that kind of stuff to get C, um, to get root access on the device and get Super SU installed. So now the thing that happens, and this is kind of freaky right here, is it's going to boot loop about three times um, during this process. So don't freak out. This is normal. Um, we're just going to boot loop here. You can see it's boot looping again right now. Um, so it just it just it boots a couple of times. There's a couple boot loops. The cool thing that's nice about this is it doesn't actually wipe out your data as long as you already have an unlocked bootloader. If your bootloader is unlocked, you can do this process and just manually flash like I did, or even use the application if it works for you, the script. Otherwise, um, you know, you should be good. It won't wipe your data out, and you'll get root access on Android and preview or Android Nougat when that gets released. So this one I think is the final boot, um, which is nice. So you can see it's not doing it. Android is upgrading or any of those things. There's the beta program for Android N. Just swipe up. And at this point, really, you can unplug your device currently. It's not, not needed to be plugged in anymore. We can swipe down, and right there you can see Super SU. Click on that. And there you go. Man, he just keeps blowing me up, blowing me up. So it might say, like, do you want to do like look on Twitter or whatever? You just hit no thanks and you'll see this. So if you get to this screen and it's not telling you you need to update the SUBINARY, binary, you're good. You have root access officially on Android N. So there you go, guys. That's basically how to do it with CF Auto Root. Even if you get a little hiccup in the road where CF Auto Root isn't working with the batch script, you can just manually push it and it's not really a big deal. Um, just a fast boot boot and boot that CF auto root image Reboot a couple times and you're rocking it. Hope you guys have liked this video here on the Nexus 6 again Like I said, it works on the Nexus 6p 5x Nexus 9 anything on Android N or Android Nougat I'm sure see uh, see if auto root will be updated when official builds of Nougat get released That's gonna wrap it up for me. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys in the next one Root junkie out